All right, welcome to the next daily drawing. Today we're gonna to be drawing a catfish. That's really random, but uh, thank you for requesting it. All right, so um, I'm not really a fish drawing person, so this will be a new experience, but let's go for it. All right, so the first thing I would suggest doing is start with the body shape, because they're very uh, simplistic. They have a very simple body shape, but then they have a bunch of complicated things onto the body. So the body is essentially a gigantic teardrop. So it's really small and skinny here. Like if you turn it this way, you can kind of see what I mean but it's just a really big, kind of a wonky teardrop shape. So my suggestion is start with the curve that makes up the top of the body. So it's essentially a really long, stretched out frowny face. So to get started, I'm just gonna start with an extremely stretched out frowny face, kind of like this, in order to make the back of the body. And then after I finish with that, then what I would do is I would go ahead and do the curve for the front of the face. So it's kind of like a greater than or less than sign right here because it's slightly turned, but it's not super pointy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually take this, I'm going to add a slight curve, like a parenthesis, and then I'm going to make it curve out just a little bit. So this will be where the mouth and stuff goes. So I want it to be not too long, but I don't want it to be super, super tiny because uh, it does have a pretty good sized mouth. It goes from here all the way to the other side. So that's a pretty large mouth. So make sure it's not too small. But once you get the mouth area done, then what we have is we have some walks going on on the bottom of the body. So if this is where I stopped my mouth, what it's gonna do is it's gonna have a slight smile and then it's gonna have a big smile right afterwards that's going to wonk into a frown. So small smile right here. So that's what I'm gonna do first, is I'm gonna continue this line into a slight small smile like this. And then I want to take that smile and I'm going to actually create another larger smile like this, kind of depending on how long you want the body. And then you're gonna start curving it up. Now this seems like it's a little bit of a chubby catfish, but that's okay, I'm gonna leave it because I think like chubby catfish look cute. All right, so then I'm going to extend it out a little bit like this. So we go from, uh, there's the mouth, slight curve in this is going to be where the gills are popping out i think and then we have a slightly bigger curve and then it slowly changes notice that curve slowly changes into a frown and then i'm just going to extend that out into another frown like this so it's kind of like you're just really stretching that frown this is going to be the end of the tail over here okay so however long you want the tail all right so on the top of the body, I do need to add a little bit of a wonk as well. So if I have the frown at the top of the body, it's then going to turn into a smile to go up for the tail right here. So I'm just gonna continue this frown until I get it right about where I think the tail needs to go. And then I'm going to slowly turn that into a line like this. So it slowly changes into a little bit more of a frown. Although notice that on this part, it's a little bit more of a diagonal line. It's not super, super curvy because otherwise my tail is gonna be a little bit too wonky. All right, so something I noticed about the back of the tail is it's just a parenthesis going down. So uh, notice that this part is longer than this part. So that's pretty distinctive of this catfish's tail from what I see of, is that it's a little bit more of a ruddery shape, so it's a little bit more curved. So make sure that if you made this one uh, too long, either make this one longer or make this one a little shorter. So anyway, I'm gonna connect this. So I'm just gonna make it kind of rounded at the end, and then I'm just gonna make a big parenthesis to connect that tail together. So this will be the exterior of the tail. And then what I'm gonna do before I move on to the rest of the body, I'm gonna very lightly draw kind of another curve on the inside, that same exact shape repeating, because this will be where the big muscle is of the tail. And this is just like literally the soft fin part. So we'll come back and detail that later. Let's go ahead and get the rest of this body done. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and start with the face. That way we can kind of see where everything else is gonna go. So the first thing I would suggest starting with is start with the gills. So if I look at this picture, here's where the uh, mouth line kind of ended was right here. And then we had that first lump and then right after that first lump, then we have it kind of turn into the gills. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to follow, right here's where the gills are gonna start. I'm gonna follow this line until it gets right here. If you'll notice that this is where it starts to curve up at. So it smiles to where it goes down a little bit and then it starts curving up. At that point where it starts to curve up, that's where I would suggest adding the gill. So to do the gill, what I would do is I would take that same curve that you have here, and then you're just going to curve it up more dramatically like this until it gets about halfway into the body, and then you're gonna curve it forward like this. So it's kind of like you're drawing the letter C, but you're making it really, really dramatic and kind of flat on the side and kind of curved on the tops. All right, so um, maybe that's another gill. So it looks like maybe I can see another indication of a gill. If not, then it's a wrinkle that I think we should go ahead and draw. And it looks like it's just repeating that same exact shape, just really close to it. 
and then it kind of makes it a little bit smaller so it doesn't fully connect but it does get pretty close to it so that might be a second gill or it might just be a wrinkle where the gills kind of pushing forward like it's uh, like inhaling or something all right so now that I have my gills done, now it makes it a little bit easier to figure out where my eyes are going to go. So if I notice right here, I can see two little holes. I'm assuming those are the nose things, nostrils, nostrils, yeah. So I'm just going to draw a little dot here, go over a little bit, and then draw another little dot. And then before I draw my eye, I'm actually going to go ahead and draw my nose or my mouth since I'm already down here. I noticed that there's a little bit of a uh, kind of like a hole right here, and then it's just a smile connecting to the side. So to do the mouth of this fish, I'm gonna draw a little dot right here. Then I'm just gonna draw a smile going across until it connects to the other side of the head. So <laughs> if that was the eyes, this looks like a really derpy fish, but just ignore that for now, okay? Which um, you can make this a little bit more of a frown shape if you wanna make it not a perfect circle. That's kind of up to you. But yeah, so it looks like the bottom jaw just kind of uh, stays fairly simple. Like there's not really much to it. It just stays kind of a curve. I think that whenever they open their mouths, it's a lot more dramatic. But since this one has a closed mouth, it looks pretty simple. All right, so back to the eyes. So the eye looks like it's right above the uh, part where the mouth was. So right above this area, this is about where I want to put my eye shape. And it looks like it's a very simple round shape. Uh, on this picture, it's really small. If you want to draw a little bigger to make it more cartoony, definitely feel free to. And I think that could give it a cool aesthetic, but that's up to you. You can make that decision. All right, so I do see that it does have kind of like an outer ring around the eye. And I think that's uh, probably like the iris of the eye. So I'm just drawing another circle around it. And then on the inside one, that's where I'm going to do my um, little filling it in thing with the little highlight just to make it look a little bit more cute. So uh, you got your pupil with the highlight, and then I think that outer ring is just an iris. So I don't really see the other eye, but I do see the bump that makes up the eyelid. It's this small little indention right here, or um, not an indention, thing that sticks out. So if this right here is my forehead that I'm keeping, I would only go, wanna go kind of like across from this eye, like this, and that's where I'm gonna add a slight bump, not too dramatic, just a slight bump on the other side of the head. And then I can get rid of that line right there to help me see that that's more of a bump. So it almost looks like a frog right now, which is kind of kind of weird. Are frogs and fish similar in their anatomy? I don't know. Anyway, so I have my eyes and then I have my nose and my mouth. I can go ahead and draw my barbs if I want to. You can save that for later if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and draw them now. So it's just going to be a line coming down, kind of like an awkward beard. <laughs> and then all you're going to do is you're just going to draw, kind of like if uh, you drew the octopus with me, that it's going to be similar to that, that you're just going to follow it up. So we're going to make it really thin here, though, a lot thinner than those uh, tentacles on the octopus. So we're going to make a really thin line that's kind of parallel, following it all the way back up to the face. And it's okay if it gets a little thicker as it gets closer to the face. And on this picture, it looks like there's two of them. So it looks like they both come from kind of the bottom of the jaw, which is weird because I always thought that they came from the side of the face, but I don't know. I'm not a fish person, so I don't know. I really do like fish. I used to have pet fish. Um, they were very cleverly named uh, Fish and Fishy, but um, yeah. <laughs> so there we go. All right, so we got our little uh, catfish whisker things. Um, let's see. Next, we got a little hole here. I don't know what that hole is, but I'm just going to draw a little circle there because I see a hole in the side of their face. All right, okay, so moving on, we're going to go ahead and do the uh, fins, which I think makes it look most fish-like, I'm assuming. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do these side fins. So it looks like it comes out right behind the gill, so I'm gonna start right behind where I have my gill, and I'm just going to do a big smile, like this, in order to make the front of the fin. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna first erase a little bit of the belly where I'm planning on putting the rest of my fin. And then it looks like it kind of comes, it starts here and it makes a slight diagonal line back to the body like this. So it just makes a little bit of a fin shape going back to the body. And um, I don't know if this is just the color of it or if there's a bigger muscle texture. I'm not sure, but there's a little line going all the way up right here. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that. Not really sure if it is uh, like maybe a bone or something. Um, now I'm going to go on this side down here. I don't see the other one of these fins on the other side of the body. I'm assuming it's like over there that I just don't see it because the fish is overlapping it. All right. But I do see like a little bottom fin down here that all I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a slight parenthesis, kind of a little bit further back than this one. And then after I do that slight frowny face parenthesis shape, I'm going to do a smile on the bottom like this. And then I'm just going to mimic that same kind of parenthesis, bringing it back up to the belly. So that'll be like, I guess maybe like a rudder fin or a steering fin. And then I have another fin back here. 
the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, now notice that it's um, in front of the arch, so I'm going to make sure that it's not too far back. So here's my arch. I want it to be somewhere right about here would be good. What I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to draw a slight parenthesis in this direction. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slight smile. And then I'm going to turn that smile into a parenthesis going forward like this. That way I have kind of that shape for the fin. All right, now if I look at the picture, I notice on the exact opposite side of the body, there's another one of those fins. It's not quite as pointy though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go directly above. I'm going to add a little bit more of a dramatic smile or a parenthesis in this case. And then after I have my parenthesis, then I'm just going to frown it down until it touches the body like this. So it's a little bit bigger than this one, it seems visually. All right, so we're getting close to being done. This is actually pretty easy, I guess. I don't know. I wasn't really confident, but I'm, I mean, it looks like a fish. All right. So um, we have, this is, I do believe it's called the dorsal fin. So really pay attention to where the location is. If I look at it compared to the other fins, if I go straight down, it should line up with this part where my fin connects to the body. Not this one. That's too far up. This right here should be where I have the start of the dorsal fin. So I'm going to go up from here. I'm gonna put a little marker dot so that I know that's where I need to start it. And then it doesn't touch this fin back here. It gets pretty close to it, but it doesn't touch it. And then if I go down from here, it should be a little bit around in this area. So this is gonna be about where I'm gonna put it. So wherever I've made this touch, I'm gonna to go up. And um, if yours doesn't line up, that's totally okay. Feel free to move your fins as you need. It doesn't have to line up perfect. We're just drawing a fish. It's all right, it ain't perfect. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is for that dorsal fin is I'm going to um, make a slight diagonal line like this and feel free to make it however big or small as you want. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger than this one though. Just give it a little bit more edge. All right, now there is a texture here that I love that I'm gonna add, but I'm gonna keep it smooth at first. So there is a bit of a wonk. It makes a slight parenthesis first this way and then it changes into a bigger parenthesis at the bottom. So it's not a perfectly smooth line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first make a smaller parenthesis right here. And then I'm going to add another parenthesis that gets a little bigger to connect it back down to the body like this. Just to add a little bit more uh, definition to the shape of the fin, which I think looks interesting. And then uh, once again, I see that uh, kind of like it's where it's white, but the rest of it's uh, like a darker color. So I'm not sure if that's like a, a fin bone or something. Do they have those? I don't know. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw it. And then I'm just going to erase the body on the inside there just to make it look like it has some uh, like thing there. I don't know. Yeah, it works. Um, is that a wrinkle? I don't know. There's a line right there. Do catfish have wrinkle lines there? I'm just going to add a line there just because I see it. I'm going to add it because it might be important. <laughs> if you're a fish person, let me know if I did something horribly wrong because I might have. All right. So something that I definitely want to add before I call this done uh, for the cartoony one is I would add, see how we add that little wonky thing there? I would go back and add kind of like bumpy ridges like this to that fin just so that it's not perfectly smooth. So I'm going to very lightly kind of soften this up so it's easier to add my textures. And then I'm just going to add little frowny faces on the back of that. And then I can do the same thing on the back of the tail because I also noticed that the back of the tail has ridges. Then I'm just going to add little smile shapes for the back of the tail fin like this. Hmm, that looks weird. Is it supposed to go the other way? <gasps> it's supposed to go the other way. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I told you wrong. I am incorrect. <laughs> that made it look cute too, like cute and fluffy, which you can leave it that way if you want to. All right, so instead of um, doing frowns in, we're going to do smiles out. That makes a lot more fishy sense. Yeah, okay, so now they're a little bit more spiny, which makes a lot more sense. Okay, so it's kind of like I'm just doing the points facing the outer part. And I don't see them on these... I see it on this fin, but I don't see it on this fin for some reason. I don't know why that is. So you can add a little bit of points here if you want to. You can add some points on the back of this one. Just give it a little bit more of a finny texture. All right. So um, I'm liking that. Um, I do see that there are some lines that I'm just going to start doing little diagonal lines going out for uh, some of these fin parts, especially the tail fin. You can really see that on the tail fin. I don't know if you can see it on here. But on the tail fin, there's quite a few lines going out. So I'm going to draw a couple tail fin lines like this. Yeah, so there we go. And I don't see any fin textures on these, but I mean, I guess if you want to add them, you can. I don't know if they belong there, but yeah, fins. Okay, so uh, that looks... <laughs> I can't believe it's actually a fish. I'm actually really high-key proud of myself right now. Um, something that I do definitely see, there's lots of patterns on the fish, which I don't know if catfish have very distinctive patterns on their own. If you want to draw these patterns, you can. All I'm doing is I'm just looking at the picture and just drawing kind of like 
little uh, imperfect kind of squiggly lines in the direction that I see those patterns. The key thing is that what I'm doing, notice how I'm holding my pencil, it's really far away so that I don't have as much control. And it allows my hand to be a lot shakier so that I can get some more of those kind of random lines. Cause I think randomness is very important when it comes to drawing something more natural. Just give it a little bit more of a look. And then there's lots and lots of spots. So you can add some spots if you want to. This would be a really fun one to color or even add a background to, but <laughs> it's a fish. <laughs> I control fish, I didn't know that. How cool. All right, so there's a catfish type thing. Feel free to add to it. It'd be really cool to like turn it into more of a like mythical fish, maybe like a bigger, fluffier, longer tail. If you wanna add more details, definitely adding some like scaly textures might really uh, emphasize the fish look if you want to. So for scaly textures, it's a lot like how we drew fluffy textures. All I'm doing is I'm drawing the letter C over and over. And then that can kind of add a little bit more of a scale texture. And it doesn't even have to be all perfectly lined up. Just like how we draw fur on animals, uh, we only do it in the shadowy areas. I wouldn't do it over the entire body unless you're going for like super, super realistic. I would just do it in a couple areas where you think that it would benefit from having some scale textures. And once again, the more you do it, the uh, more you'll realize just how much you're doing, uh, if it's too much or if it's not enough. So just kind of have fun with it. And then like, it, usually like if you look at it and you're like, that looks all right, then that means that you're done. So that looks all right, I think I'm done. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of shading to it. So uh, feel free to shade it if you would like to, or if you wanna color it, especially with fish. Fish come in so many different like cool colors and stuff that uh, like you can have a lot of fun with the fish coloring. Um, I, uh, what is it? Oh, what is that name of the fish? Finding Nemo? Like Dory? Dory has a cool color marking on her. But uh, there was there was a book I used to read whenever I was like really, really little. It had like a rainbow fish or like, was he a rainbow? I don't know. He had like a shiny scale. I don't know if he was rainbow or if just that one scale was. But I remember I thought he looked really, really pretty. And I've always admired fish. I'm just, I don't know. I've They just, I don't know. I just never really tried to draw them. I don't know why I've never tried to draw them very much. I think I've drawn koi fish before just because I like their aesthetic. But I kind of want to start drawing some fish more now. That's actually really fun to draw them. Okay. All right. Well, there's off catfish. <laughs> I hope you guys had fun drawing them. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye.